What is going on guys? My name is Alex or Mr. Snitchy and in today's video we're going to be talking about the Shea Regatti in Battlefield 1, the factory version, the one that you start out with the Medic class. So I'm just going to roll some clips, talk over them, give you some nice stats on that, so maybe when you start, or if you have, you can know how to use this weapon a little better. So you guys, I'm just going to let these cycle through while I talk about the Shea Regatti factory. First up is damage. Damage is very good on this weapon from close to medium range. Out to 32 meters, you're going to be your max damage of 38 a bullet. Meaning that you're going to have a 3 shot body shot or 2 if one is a headshot due to battlefield giving you double damage if you hit somebody in the head. However, after that 32 meters, your damage does tank. And once you hit 41 meters, you're doing your absolute minimum damage, which is 28 a bullet. Meaning that you're going to have 4 shot body shot, or 3 if one of them is a headshot. Muzzle velocity is not bad on this weapon, being 700 meters a second. So you won't have to lead your target much. Once you start getting out a little further, beyond 41 meters, you could potentially take them down. But I'm going to say don't. Let your sniper buddy, who's got a better weapon for long range, or maybe somebody with an LMG that is a slow, easily controllable LMG, but that's just my opinion. Reload on this weapon is actually surprisingly good. It takes 3 seconds for entire reload, which is 2 5 round strip clips, or it's going to be 0.5 seconds for every single bullet reload. So you might be asking yourself, well, why would I just want to use stripper clips, or why would I want to mix in a tad? Reason being is because a stripper clip, you can dump five rounds into the gun, or if you're just using single bullets, it's just going to be three. So obviously, your strength here is dumping five rounds down range, or ten if you have multiple people, and just reloading it. It's going to be worth your time, and you probably won't get as killed as often. The ADS on this weapon is okay. Your ADS while moving is 79 milliseconds, and when you're not moving, it's 21 milliseconds. So that's, I would say, pretty quick. I wouldn't hit fire with this weapon because your hip fire does go everywhere. I've had a couple times where I was playing, and I hip fired somebody in an accident and dumped an entire mag down, and the person has killed me or nearly killed me. The recall on this weapon is pretty interesting, along with every other single weapon in Battlefield 1. It only does up recoil unless you change it to a left or right modifier. Your recoil up is 0.7, and your left and your right recoil are 0.32, so that does even. Your first shot multiplier is 1, so if you use the semi automatic mode for this weapon, you're going to be having a lot of recoil. So, what I've figured out is doing is just leaving it on full auto, and if I have to tap fire somebody, I will tap fire somebody. But if I don't need to, then I don't, because if it's in full auto, that first shot recoil only applies to that first shot coming out of the barrel. Easy as pie. The sight picture on this weapon is very good in my opinion. I like the normal iron sights, but you also can put a buckhorn on there if you want really up to you, it's personal preference, there's really not much different about it except there's a little less stuff in the way with the buckhorn sight, you just have the two wires instead of the entire frame of the weapon. My thoughts on the weapon, this weapon is very, very good in that close quarter to medium range. I find myself, if I'm playing with my friends, getting gunned down by this weapon a lot. Whether it's going to be, you know, close or medium range. Sometimes when I'm sniping I do get shot by this thing, but suppression is very good and it's very easy to move a sniper out of its way. If you're coming up against a support player, normally you will be able to kill them unless they are using a BAR, which is probably going to drop you, but that's another video discussion for another day. So if you guys did like this video, subscribe, thumbs up, all that good stuff. And just remember, this is the first video of this series, so if you guys want to continue that, just show some love. And remember, snitches get stitches.